So, you might remember in a previous video, I made this lovely bad boy, and it is an apple grinder. Oh, there's Jesse. Say hi, Jess. Ah, she's a bit shy. Anyway, you might notice I'm not in the workshop today. I am in my garage, and that is because I'm going to be grinding some apples. Now, I have a box of apples right here. This is about a quarter of the apples I'm going to grind, and hopefully by the end, I will fill this bucket full of juice. Now, I'm going to be making some hard cider, and the first step is to build yourself an apple grinder, or buy one. And I did a video on that there. Now, my grandfather used to make hard cider, and this here is a bottle of his. It's probably about 15 years old, uh, nice and vinted, very strong, and it is really good stuff. So hopefully this one I'm going to get round to making. So hard cider is basically you just grind the apples, they get into shreds, then you press them, squeeze out all the juice, and then you just let the juice sit for about a month in open air, marinate, then bottle it, leave it for a year, come back, take a swig, and mwah, perfect. First step is to build yourself an apple grinder, and after you've done that, you're going to need to lube it up. So I've got some sunflower oil, uh, it's just for all the moving parts to keep them moving nicely, smoothly and all that and because it's sunflower oil it's not poisonous, not going to kill me. Pretty simple, all you have to do is take off the cap and basically pour on some oil and rub it, dub it, dub it in. Now the drum is all oiled up when you turn the handle it's a wee bit noisy so I'm going to take some oil put it on my hand and I'm just going to funnel this into the bearing blocks in the specially designed holes I made and that way it will self lubricate. Now I'm just lubing up the inside of the box with the oil. Now that everything's oiled up I can pop the box on top and we're basically ready to start. So I've got this big massive bucket and I'm just going to slide it underneath the chute like so and now I can take an apple, pop it in the drum, push down the lever, and I'm ready to start. Now this is the big reveal. Is it gonna work? Let's see, that way I'm going. Hmm. Might need to make a modification. I've done a quick fix by adding a clamp to either side so now the box can't rattle. I think it's done it! Yep, seems to be working. Woohoo! It's taking longer and a lot more work than I anticipated, but it is still getting done. The hole is steadily increasing. It seems we might have a little bit of an issue. So you can probably guess, wood probably wasn't the best idea. So I was doing it for about an hour before it broke. But what I noticed was, with all the force I was pushing down with this lever, the shaft had actually become bent and instead of being straight, it was a bow shaped because there was so much force pushing in the middle, the wood because it was wet, was just able to bend and stay permanently deformed. Well, on top of that, wood doesn't have impeccable torsional strength, so it just twisted, twisted, and then with the force, kind of just broke off. So, uh, I have a good amount of juice and all here, so I'm going to clean it out uh, and just carry on with the process, and then at some point later, I'm going to put a metal shaft on it and do the rest of the apples. Now, as you can see, the box got pretty gummed up, but that's all right, because now when I lift it off, a large amount of it is going to go back into the bucket. Oh, there you go. Now you can see all the goop and the broken shaft from the drum. There 
go. Now I just have to do the lovely job of cleaning all this. Now ordinarily to turn this pulp into juice you would use a press. And there's just a big screw you put on blocks of wood and it squeezes down the mush and then the juice dribbles out and you catch it. But because I've only got this tiny amount I've got an easier way. Now I haven't tried this method before but I really hope it works. So you just need a mesh cloth or bag and another pot to catch the juice and you basically take spoonfuls of this, put it into the cloth and then wring it out and squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it and the juice will just flow out into that container. So let's give it a try. Now I'm literally just going to use my hands because they're going to get absolutely clobbered anyway. Take a handful, put it in the bag, another handful, put it in the bag, another handful. Oh, this is an odd feeling. Now that I basically have the whole bucket emptied into the bag, I can get rid of the bucket, move over to the, this, which is very heavy, pull up the bag as such, and if you lift it up, it's just going to drain the juice. But we're going to speed it up a bit, and you just want to tie it, you know, spin it round, and as you do so, it's going to get tighter and tighter and push out more and more juice, as such. Now that the juice is draining, you can literally just grab it and squeeze it. Oh, bugger. There's a hole in the bag. Now I moved so that there is not a hole, and as it said, you can just grab and squeeze, and the juice just comes flowing out. It's amazing. It's great. Just give her another twist and squeeze. Oh, squeezing out. Another twist and another squeeze. Wonderful, and you just keep going. Now that I've squeezed most of the juice out, I just need to strain it through. I'm, going to, I'm just going to use a sieve because I don't have strainer, and that will basically make it almost pure juice. There'll still be a tiny bit of thin pulp in it. I think that's the most of the juice out of it. Now I can recycle this when I squeeze more juice out. And now I can strain it again. There we go. And look at that, you can see how much I cut. Now let's see how much we have gotten. So, put her in here. That is 500 mils. Another 500. Another half liter. So there we go, a litre and a half and a pint, or, as it sounds better, 2.068 litres, woohoo!